before we go into the essence of this video, I just want to apologise to anyone who is sub subscribing to me or watching me that I didn't update, um, put out a video last Sunday. It's because of this video because I have re-recorded it two times, um, this is the third time I'm recording it, and the two times previously I recorded it, I wasn't happy with it, so, um, yeah, I was really put <laughs> behind by this actual video, so, um, hopefully this video will go very well. Hey guys, um, welcome to my first book review um, video. Just like I previously previously stated, I recorded this. This is my third time recording it, and hopefully it's gone well. And um, well, let's get into what I am discussing today. Uh, it's pretty much um, one of my favourite books in when I was going through a vampire um, phase of reading books and that is the Vampire Academy series. And the reason I was first attracted by the series is a bit of um, vanity because the main character's name is Rose and so I was like oh my god I have to read this. Keep in mind I was around 15 um, when I started reading this and I was like that so you know, I, you could excuse it for young ageness. <laughs> um, yeah, um, before we discuss the whole, se the, uh, the first book and the whole series as a whole, because I've read all six books. Um, yeah, and also can I just say, I'm going based by my memory. I have flicked through the books, but other than that, I'm just based on my memory. So, um, yeah, I'll le read the, um, the blurb of the first book to you. Sorry. <laughs> I don't ever burp, so that's probably gonna, yeah, come back to me. Um, so um, I, there's some words that I can't pronounce on here, so um, I, I'm especially not gonna say the last character, uh, the, one of the main characters' last names, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'll put it in the little like um, titles below. So Lisa is a mortal vampire. She must be protected at all times from the fiercest and most dangerous vampires of all, the ones who will never die. Rose Hathaway is Lisa's best friend and her bodyguard. Now, after two years of elect freedom, I think that's what it's... Yeah. <laughs> um, um, they're dragged back, back uh, inside the iron gates of St. Vladimir's Academy. The girls must survive a world of forbidden romances, a ruthless social scene, and terrifying nighttime rituals. But above all, they must never let their guard down, lest the immortal vampires take Lisa forever. Um, yeah, so that's basically like the first book, and just to summarise the whole series as a whole, um, it follows in Rose's perspective, um, um, but she's actually linked to Lisa. So, um, um, what that really means is that <laughs> spoilers, I should have said spoilers at the start of the video, but spoilers! Uh, Rose was, Rose died in a car crash along with her parents and uh, along with her, um, let's start it again. Rose died a lot in a car crash along with Lisa's family, which is um, parents and a brother. But since Lisa was closer to Rose at the time, uh, she un unknowingly brought back, brought Rose back to life and that made them spirit bound or bounded so Rose can like sort of go inside Lisa's head and read her thoughts or know when she's in danger and everything like that and the reason Lisa was able to do this was because she has the power of a very unknown element called spirit so um because the mortal vampires the no, I'm just gonna call them mortal vampires and I'll just put them in the titles <laughs> what they're actually referenced as. The mortal vampires um, have these special gifts um, which are elemented based, so earth, fire, water, air, and the, the less rare one is spirit, so so rare that no one really knew that she had this power. So yeah, and um, and so the reason that they're on the run was because of Lisa's magical gifts, basically. And um yeah, so it mainly follows from Rose's perspective, uh, but we go into Lisa's head through Rose's eyes. Well, you know. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, uh, the first three books are my favourite because um, they're much more um, plot focused and you can see where the story's going. Well, not, not in like a predictable way, but you know, it's much more you can understand what they're going through in some way even though you don't totally understand what they're going through because they're vampires uh, so um but the the second like the fourth book i cried at but i don't think it was entirely the best one um that is blood promise um and then spirit bound i was like Ugh. and then last sacrifice I liked it, it was much more better than Spirit Bound, but um, yeah, and the one thing I was really annoyed with, with having this collection of books, is that I had like the first um, covers, first edition covers I think, I think these are the first cover editions, but um, just before they released Last Sacrifice they had all these brand new covers, and this is my, <laughs> so it doesn't match, it doesn't match, it doesn't match, but okay. Um, that's like my bookworm fetish, uh, bookworm annoyance, I mean, <laughs> not fetish. Um, so yeah, that was the most annoying thing about getting all these books. But um, um, what I, but what I really liked about the Vampire Academy series is the writing of it. It was very simplistic, but also, you know, it had a lot of emotion into it. So it wasn't like eat simplistic in a way that you know a five-year-old could read it but, um, but um, it was simplistic in a way that the writer didn't overcomplicate things and when when it, she did when someone did say something very complicated she, the rose got um, analyzed it into a simple way so um, because she had a bit of a teenage mind so she done it into a simple way that all of us even the adults who didn't know anything about this world could understand um, and um, I really liked the relationship between Rose and Lisa because I liked that some of the story was mainly about friendship but I wish um, during the end of the series that they could have she could have focused it more on the friendship between Rose and Lisa because I felt that they were drifting apart a little bit towards the end and it was mainly about the romance with Lisa and Christian and Rose and Dimitri or Rose and Adrian and can I just say to all the Vampire Academy fans yes I'm a Rose and Dimitri fan always and for not, not always and forever but <laughs> that's from the originals um, um, but you know I, I love Rose and Dimitri together even though how they got together wasn't the best way because um, uh, spoilers again um, Dimitri was Rose's mentor at her school but keep in mind Rose was 17 going on 18 and um, Dimitri was like I think 24 so it wasn't much of an age gap but the the relationship dynamic the way they started was teacher and student so I was a bit iffy about that that's my only complaint in that relationship but overall I loved them <laughs> um, and also the reason Dimitri was Rose's mentor was because Dimitri was Lisa's head or current bodyguard slash guardian because um, Rose hasn't graduated to be Rose's guardian slash bodyguard. Um, if you read the books you probably know what I'm all about. <laughs> um, yes, I wish they focused more on the friendship and everything and even though I loved the romances between the couples and everything, I even loved Adrian towards the end even though I knew he wasn't right for Rose. Um, <sighs> I just wished it wasn't so rom romanticised sometimes. Um, but the best thing I think really was Rose's character as well. Um, I really liked how bold and strong she was and but she was very vulnerable at the same time like with the situation with her mother like um, Janine Hathaway she was a highly respected um, guardian slash bodyguard just in case people don't really understand um, and so because of that she wasn't there to raise Rose and Rose is very resentful of that I feel like I'm talking about myself but I'm really not because I haven't that didn't happen to me um, so yeah um, so but I liked that they sort of rebuilt their relationship afterwards um, after Frostbite um, after Mason died uh, spoiler alert <laughs> 
I'm not very good at this. But um, yeah, um, that was my review of Vampire Academy. Let me guys know what you thought of the book, uh, the book or the book series. And if you don't know the book series, let me know if you're going to read it. And for everyone who wants to criticise me or anything that I've said, um, leave comments down below. Tell me what I can improve with book reviews and everything like that or how I can um, present myself better. But please don't leave any horrible, hateful comments. And if you did get offended by anything I said, please leave a comment down below and I will try and... Um, <laughs> I'll try and understand your perspective and I'll try and fix it up next time because I'm basically rambling half the time and I don't really understand what I'm saying half the time either. So um, leave, leave a comment down below of your thoughts and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.